Tyler LaQuatra, is Kyle Juszczyk a good comp for Connor Hayward? I'd say no. So why you say no? I'm trying to think. I think Connor, he's he's a little bit more receiver than Juszczyk. More, a little more slender. But in terms of, if he's just going for it, we'll move him all around all over the place, and he could be doing motions and help with blocking. And yeah. I could see that. I just think they're different body types. They have a little bit different skill set. Because use check to me is still more true full. Back. Right. Yeah, he's closer to that. Yeah. Whereas Connor is closer to tight end to me. I look at Connor as like undersized tight end, like true H back. Whereas I think a use check is just like a super athletic, gifted fullback. Hey, they both. Yeah. I heard Hayward's been cooking though. No, nah, Hayward's hey, Hayward's straight, bro. Hayward, yeah. I like Hayward, bro. Dude, we got so many weapons. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I just, like I said, I'm ready to see Like Calvin Austin's, we're we're talking about him being Mm -hmm. like our fourth guy. I'm still waiting to see Darnell with the pads on. That's, it's massive out there, bro. They usually, like, bro. How's that going between him and Gentry? They haven't really put anything, like, serious like that going on. And what I mean is this, like, you'll see them getting occasional pass here or there. But the real question is going to be when they put them pads on, which one of them two is consistently moving them people out the way in the run game? Better blocker. And if we're trying to take shots out of 12 personnel, who can block the DN? Who can block the outside linebacker the best? Whoever can do that the best is going to be the guy who wins that. You know Moose going to be running the routes. But I do feel like we're going to still have that 12 personnel like feel, and that's going to be the guy that has to be able to block the DN if we're playing the Cincinnati Bengals, the 4-3 teams. And he got to be able to block a TJ Wada, Alex Heisman, we playing the 3-4. Whichever one of them do it consistently, I think that's going to be the guy. Now, Gentry has already shown that he can do it. I feel like Darnell can do it to a better level while giving us the receiving part. And that would, and that's what makes him so exciting and intriguing to me. But he got to make sure he can block better than Gentry in terms of NFL blocking. You know he can do it in college. But we know NFL players are a little bit different. Twelve personnel. That's two tight ends. Two tight ends, one running back. Yep. What's uh what's the one with three tight ends? Is there another that's receiver? 13. Yeah, thirteen personnel. So it's one we running need to start back, doing that. three tight ends. So you could potentially do with move. The, that's is that with a receiver too? Yeah, yeah. You still got your one receiver out there, but you would have Pickens. move. Yeah, you could Pickens do move, pit you could do move, Darnell and Connor with Najee in the backfield and Pickens your solo receiver, and you dress that thing up three by one. Where you bunch it to the front because you know Connor can still run a route, Pat can still run a route, and Darnell can run a route. But you make that defense play base because if they show up in nickel with your three big Titans like that, man, you'll check it to a run, they couldn't block it. But then you still got the one on one on the backside with Pickens because you've put the formation, you know, away from them. And I will say this too, speaking of formation schematics. I might be running that in Madden a little bit. Uh, I can Watch see out. you. I can see you. I can see you. I, I wanted to, I wanted to talk a little <laughs> scheme though. 